<clears throat> Coach, no matter, is there something special about opening night? No. Well, we started in the road, so it's really old. Depends what you call home or, or, or road. So just to start the season, I mean, no matter how long you play, you guys are anxious, anxious to get going because the season starts today, not not when we start. The season is today. There's three games tonight, three tomorrow, and and two. I think there's two conference games both nights. So sort of we're looking at. Is the hay in the barn? As my dad might say, but everything taken care of. Training camp went well. Yeah, I think we're tried to not try. We talked to players about preseason was over Saturday, right. and it was start taking the next step. So. In the comps are they with one in preseason? I think our top guys are the Browns. Uh, because of the injury, all our top guys had good jumps. I think it's still a search and you know, the role part of it. They're, uh, they're not sure. Your eight defensemen didn't it still stay one through one through eight. Nobody, nobody from eight or seven went into any other position. Nobody took that by the by the horns, for sure. So that, that hasn't changed. So is it? I asked Dustin this about. It's been so Brown. little, yeah, so little change over the, the three seasons. Um, that that seems so. You know, little guys have come and, and gone, but but mo for the most part, the roster is intact. Does that make your job easier? No, because our left wing was the lowest scoring left wing group in the National Hockey League last year. So other than trying to move Fratton from right wing to left wing, it's certainly a big challenge for us because uh, Jeff Carter was the leading goal scorer in the Western Conference at the same time he played with guys that he was only, he, on the, in the point part, he was only able to get seven or eight assists because nobody on the other side could score. So that's a huge thing. And then our third line was the lowest scoring third line in the National High League. So is, is change not good? It better be changed in terms of change performance. For yeah. Change for the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so you do have some concerns going into it. Absolutely. Yeah. What, why the season finished, when the season finished yesterday. Yeah. I mean, quite honest, our regular season last year is a better season than the team that won the Stanley Cup. So it means our young guys are getting better, our new place is getting better. But quite honest, when you do it on a point per, point per game, we played 48 games last year, multiplied by 1.71, we had 100 point eight points, which is a 100-point season. We finished fifth, and we preferred to try and get home ice. So based on based on last year, as good a season as we had team-wise, we didn't get home ice out of the deal, and we still had over 100 points. So it means as individuals, we can still do that. Coach, you just, just were talking about the fact that left wing was such a, a nightmare last year. Um, do you feel that the guys that are Still here, that there are improvements that have been made, or and that the young guys are just well, still. Blake King was arguably the best player in training camp, so he gets to play with Anzi Kopitar, who's our best player. Clear, that's what training camp's for. So I know how everybody outside falls in love with numbers and names, but it's based on performance. So Dwight King had the best, he was our best left player in training camp. He gets to play with Kopitar, Frat, and we tried to move him left. It's only constantly had in training camp was Fratt and Richardson and Carter, so it's still, that's not like it's, we're giving them the opportunity, Fratt and the opportunity to play with Mike and Jeff, clearly. We're not going to split Mike and Jeff up. So clearly that's the situation. And then, and then uh, we gave guys an opportunity to play with Stoll and Lewis in preseason, and they didn't, they didn't take it. So. Brownie will go in. He didn't, he didn't play, so that's where he goes in. But the uh, fourth line guys, that's how they played in training camp, so let them fight over there. So you can't play four guys in your fourth line. Only play three. Darrell, what specifically has Dwight King been doing that's, that's elevated his game? I think his offensive opportunities, and off if you just base it on numbers, or, or better. Percentages, the game's still about percentages.